In this video, I'm going to be talking about bone breaking and bone formation, and also how to make use of the bone interface to calculate the change in entropy. Okay, so the first question we have here is to calculate the entropy change for the reaction between methanol and oxygen. So the first step would be to write up the entire equation and make sure it's balanced, it's very important. So we have CH3OH as the molecular formula for methanol plus oxygen. That's, that will give us CO2 plus water. Okay. Now looking at this reaction, it's not balanced because, okay, we start with carbon. You see, carbon here is one, is one here. So carbon is balanced. Hydrogen here is three, plus this one here, four. And here we have two. So we start with balancing the hydrogen. So add two here, that will make four, because we have four here, right? So that balances the hydrogen. Now the next step will be to balance the oxygen. Oxygen, we have one of it here, and then two here. Uh, that is three of them. Well, here we have two of this, and we have these two that also affect this oxygen. So we have two, two, which is four, and we have three here. So all we just need to do here is to balance the oxygen first. And in order to balance it, if I put one and a half here, one and a half multiplied by two is going to give me three, and three plus this one here. This one over here will be four, which corresponds with the four we have over here, right? This and this. And that actually balances the equation, but we cannot have an equation with the half. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't make sense, right? So all we just need to do is to make this a whole number. And we do that by multiplying everything here by two. So if we multiply this equation by two, we're going to have two in front of this, okay? And two multiplied by this is going to give us three, okay? One and a half times two would be three. Two multiplied by this would be two here, and two multiplied by this two would then give us four. So this would be our balanced equation, okay? All right, so note that it is only the numbers in front of the molecules that change, okay? When you are multiplying, the ones here, this ones, do not change. This ones, the subscripts do not change. All right, so now we have the balance equation. The next step, let me recount. The first step was to write the equation. Second step, balance the equation. The third step will be to write out the, the structural formula for the equation. So here, I'm just going to do C H uh, The structural formula looks like this. Okay, so you have three hydrogens, which is one, two, three, and this OH. Now, we need all the bonds to show, so I'm going to make sure the bonds here shows too, so we have something like this, okay? And we have two of them, so we'll go ahead and also write out the second one, so that it will, have, it will be easy when counting the bonds. Okay, so that solves that of methanol. We'll go to the oxygen, we have three of them, so Oxygen bonds to oxygen with a double bond. So you have something like this. You have three of them, right? And to the product side, we have two carbon dioxides, and C is in the middle, double bonded to oxygen, double bonded to oxygen. Now, if uh, you've done something called Levy structure, it helps you understand how this structural formulas Okay. So this is what we have. Okay, we have just two of them. 
here for water, we have four molecules. Right two. Okay. Now the next step will be to count each of these bonds. Okay. And uh, we started with the bonds broken. So the bonds broken would be the reactants. Why the bonds formed would be the products then. So let's start with this. We have C2 hydrogen, a carbon to hydrogen bond here, carbon to hydrogen. Okay. So we start with carbon to hydrogen. We have this is one, this is broken, two, three, four, five, and six. So our carbon to hydrogen is six. Six bonds. We have carbon to oxygen, which is one and two. So carbon to oxygen that will be broken is two. We have oxygen to hydrogen bond. That will be broken. We have one and two. So oxygen to hydrogen is two. Then we also have oxygen double bonded to oxygen one. Two and three. So I have three of them. So oxygen double bonded to oxygen will be three. Okay. All right. Now we have this. The next step will be to do that of bond formation. So I'm just going to write it down. Bonds formed. Let's go back, back and come. So for, for the product end, we have bonds that were formed. And we have C double bond, O, oh, that's carbon double bonded to oxygen. We have one, two, three, four of them that are formed. So that would be giving us C double bond, O, oh, four. And then we have oxygen to hydrogen bond, O. Oh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So oxygen to hydrogen, we have eight of them. Now after this, the next step would be to look up the bonds in that before this, each of these specific bonds. So for carbon and hydrogen bond, the bond in that is 413 kilojoule per mole. That of carbon to oxygen is 358 kilojoule per mole. That of oxygen to hydrogen is 463 kilojoule per mole. And that of oxygen to oxygen is 495 kilojoules per mole. All right, so note that each of these is number of moles for each of these bonds. So these moles are gonna cancel out these moles here, okay? They're gonna cancel out. So if it cancels out, you have just, and this is multiplying. And multiplying them. So this is this is for one mole of this bond, right? So when you have six moles of it, you multiply it by six. So the moles will cancel out the moles and you have kilojoules. So when that multiplies, it's going to give 2478 kilojoule. This gives 716 kilojoule. This one gives 296 kilojoule. And this gives 1485 kilojoules. We'll add everything up. It's going to give us 5605 kilojoules. The next one would be the bonds that was formed. C double bond oxygen is going to multiply the bond entropy for that is 799 kilojoules per mole. And uh, that of OH we saw earlier is 463. Also note that there might be slight differences with this bond in topics based on the textbook or resources that you have might differ. Okay, so if you multiply this, this will be 3196 kilojoule. This will be 3704 kilojoule. And when added up, it's giving us 3690. Um, 
six nine zero zero kilojoule. All right. Now we have the sum of the bond interface for bonds broken and that of bond interface for bonds formed. We go ahead to solve for the change in enthalpy is given as the sum of the bond interface for bond broken, which I present as BB minus that of bond interface for the bond form, which I present as BF. Okay. So we have that those values already. Uh, for the bond broken, we have 5605. Five six zero five minus minus six nine zero zero kilojoules, which is gonna give us negative one two nine five kilojoules. Is this reaction isothermic or endothermic? Now with this, we know that because it has a negative sign, it's gonna be a reaction. Okay. 